up everybody? Meeting 1.21 gigawatts and alpha toxin at this CVS. There's Mr. Gigawatts. What up, dude? How's it going, man? How you doing? Good, good. No alpha? He's doing some stuff at his mom's house. Oh, all right. Yeah. All right, so we're finally leaving. We met up with Mr. Gigawatts. Alpha's not coming, I guess. Oh, they went that way. Yep. Mr. Gigawalds. So finally, Mr. Gigawalds in all his splendor. His nice little victory. Things fucking clean. So we're heading to the Westgate bike night. Had a little interesting uh, experience. There was actually an injured dog in the road. And if you, can, if you can see it at the beginning of the video, there's a Dodge truck that drives right over it. Right, like right in between its axles. And that dog was just paralyzed in fear when I found it and I tried to get him out of the road. Figure, I think he uh, had a broken leg. Check it out. What is this? Okay, he's hurt. Do you know whose dog that is? No? Well, at least it's out of the road. Thank you. But it's cool, finally, uh, Getting to ride with Mr. Gigawatts. Been talking about it for a while. I finally got to Arizona and we finally get to ride. One thing I think I should clarify about Arizona. If you heard they had bad drivers, you were absolutely informed correctly. Drivers here are fucking terrible. Terrible. I mean, I've had people just pull from like a three lane road, like over on the shoulder, all the way over in front of me because they don't want to do a U-turn to miss the turn they're trying to make. Like if they're in the right lane, they want to make a left of the intersect, they'll boom, cut off a bunch of cars, including myself. They drive slow as shit most of the time because of the speed limits. And I guess that angers most of these drivers here because every move they make is sudden and like foot to the floor. It's just insane. Even the parking lot where I parked my bike for one day I had so many cars, like two feet from my bike, just whipping around corners, going around the parking lot. I'm like, oh my god, dude, you guys are fucking retarded. I mean, this is definitely one of those states that should honestly adopt lane splitting. Because every time I stop in traffic, I feel like I'm going to get fucking annihilated. It's bad. I'm gonna have to check my backpack. I think I got an extra mount for him, but I'm not sure. His freaking the clips that hold the GoPro on broke. Shitty. I have like tons of it at my house. But I, yeah, can't turn around now. Kind of fucked.
we lost James and Kevin. We're gonna ride with them, but I don't know what happened up with that. I think they went a different direction. We kind of screwed up, so. We got a storm coming in too. Hope I don't get pissed on. It's gonna be worse for him. I think, it's, I think he lives about 40 minutes from here, so he's gonna have to hit the front of it when he's going home. That's another thing too, I had somebody, because if you guys haven't noticed all the lights have been going through, in California, most of them, 90% of the turn lanes are protected left turn. They have a left arrow, and that means those people are gonna turn without worrying about it. The other, the other traffic coming the other way has to stop, no matter what. Here, it's about 90% yield. So they're just green lights, and you have to wait for your turn to turn left. But when these people have their opportunity to turn left, they take it. And it doesn't matter how close you are to them. They will take it because they're tired of waiting for traffic and they're impatient. I've almost gotten hit so many times just by that. It's insane. Just yesterday, I'm like, I was riding with a girlfriend in her truck and she was coming up to an intersection. No more than 50 feet. 50 feet at 40 miles an hour. This person just darts in front of her and makes a left. We actually had to lock the brakes up almost. My God. Oh, so when it's their time to turn, it's their time to turn, I guess. Well, Westgate's right over there. This is where the big ass bike nights are on every week. Every Thursday. <laughs> That's gonna be tight. Yeah, we like them tight. Yes, we do. Thank you for your service, sir. God, these bike nights are huge. Every fucking week, are you kidding? Jesus. Ooh, look at that. Now that's a bike I would ride. The 14, it's pretty much a Kawasaki Busa. So where are the hose, honey? What? You should go say hi and grab a gun. It's a sign of respect. Yeah. Just go and grab it and make sure it's secure. It's I, like, I, like, like, I like making fun of the Harley girls, the ones that, that they look 14 and, and they have a skirt on that's so short they have to shave special for it. That's awesome. What the fuck? That's a lot of fucking lights. Good for you, darling, but please move. Well, it's nice meeting Mr. Gigawatts. Finally in person. The lady in... Myself and a couple of friends are actually planning to get some food. It's kind of out of the way for him. So he's heading home. Bike night was pretty cool. Nice bikes. Wish there's more sport bikes, but it seems like it's pretty Harley dominant. Out of night, yeah, it was a good night. Poor little puppy. Uh, there'll definitely be some more rides, myself and Jigawatts in the future when we have the time. Uh, I would like to get together with Mr. Archinook. Mr. AG Ninja. And Alpha Toxin was supposed to come out, but it's family, family business that needed attending to. So hopefully we'll get to see him soon. But it was a pretty good night. I'll try and get some more vlogs out, but trying to, you know, familiarize myself with the area and worry about work and etc. Vlogs are going to come out a little bit slower, but they will still be coming out. Just not as frequent. At least once a week I'm going to try. 
But until next time, guys, catch y'all later. Thanks for fucking leaving me there. Where the fuck's Bash? He's with you. He's with me. I got his motherfucking helmet. How did you not find him? It was in the whole fucking thing.